Hi everyone, let's get right into it. Here's my new tool I recently created. It's a surface that is created along the grease pencil. You can see I can edit uh, grease pencil in the scout mode and the surface will follow. And I can also draw new grease pencil uh, curves and the surface will be created along them. Then there are those new uh, gizmos that are new option in Blender 4.3. With those we can control density of the mesh, uh, the thickness, the offset also, like so. And the last uh, gizmo uh, to control the normals of the surface. You can see that with this dial I can flip the normals. Uh, so most of the stuff we can do with the use of gizmos without going into the modifier. So that's it for the introductory part of this video. And now let's take a look at a more real life situation. I have a block out of a character over here. And now I will start uh, drawing a new surface. So I just go into the draw mode. I pick the eraser and I erase all the points of the old uh, grease pencil. And now uh, I will just uh, change the uh, stroke placement to surface. And you can see the new surface appears uh, wherever I draw on top of this mesh. Then there is this uh, one extra feature that if you would like to create another surface you don't need to leave this tool, you just need to create a new layer in the grease pencil data and here you go. And the other primitive at our disposal is this uh, cylindrical primitive. How it works exactly I will uh, show you in a second but for now let's just see how we can use it to create a hat for this character. So once again I go into the draw mode, I delete the old grease pencil, I change the placement to 3D cursor for now and you will see with this tool I can draw those circular shapes and uh, this tool will change those shapes to uh, cyclic curves uh, so the end and the uh, uh, start of each uh, grease pencil curve will be connected. And one more extra feature that we have at our disposal, we can find it in the modifier tab, which is the cup end, which is very helpful in this very case. And right now uh, we can, since this is the grease pencil, we can edit it in the sculpt mode. And also we can go into edit mode. And uh, for example, we can use the soft selection uh, to edit the shape. So that's it for the showcase part of this video. And now let's actually start from the beginning. So first I will change the colors to random. And how this tool works is that it is a asset library. So to install it, you just need to type in the path to the folder containing the blend file. And it is important to set the import method to append, not append and reuse. Uh, so the tool won't be instance and you will be then free to use it as many times as you wish. And the other important thing that you can see over here, I have the view lock set to 3D cursor. And uh, that's because without it, when using the grease pencil, you will see that navigation is pretty clunky. That's, I believe, because uh, this tool is designed for 2D, but with it, it behaves pretty much as it should. The other way to solve this issue could be to go into the view and pick the walk navigation but for me, I found the uh, uh, lock to 3D cursor works very well. All right, and now uh, let's go back to our primitives. You can see that in the asset browser, we have the uh, G surface um, kind of plane in three different uh, sizes. So small, medium and big, depending on what stuff you'll be creating with it. And similarly, we have uh, different sizes for the uh, cylindrical shapes. You can see that all these assets share the same uh, modifier but in the cylindrical shape we have the cyclic guides and over here in this uh, torus primitive you can see that we have both cyclic guides and close shape. So let's now see how uh, those options work. Uh, if we were to um, create a similar shape from ground up so let's use uh, this primitive for it. I will draw uh, a couple more uh, uh, grease curves. 
like so. Mm, and uh, maybe let's also change the shape of each curve to uh, be more like a letter C. Uh, yeah, like so. So the uh, cyclic guides and the close shape will be more visible. So now you will see that the close shape uh, connects the first and the last uh, grease curve. And on the other hand, we can also use the cyclic guides. And how this works is that it will change each of the curve of the grease pencil into the cyclic type. And on top of that, we can use the cap end and cap start uh, for either cyclic guides or for the uh, close shape. You can see it in action over here. And yeah, we also have the checkbox for interpolate. If we turn it off, we have this kind of look. And also we have uh, those sliders that can be controlled either in the modifier or in the viewport with the use of gizmos. So similarly, we can resample the guides. We can change the offset. We can change the offset with the gizmo. And also we can uh, flip the normals and flip the normals with the dial. And on the topic of flip normals, uh, there is also a hidden option if we were using layers and if we'd like to flip normals on just one of the surfaces, uh, we can do that. So I will quickly uh, paint a, a new layer and draw a new surface. You will also see that the mm, direction in which uh, the normals are facing, uh, let me just change the mm, placement to surface, depends on the direction in which I draw. So right now the uh, faces will be flipped and they are facing in the uh, different uh, direction. So um, to flip normals only on this surface, all you need to do is to go into the, uh, into the draw mode and uh, pick the, uh, in the draw mode, pick the tint brush and uh, whichever curve you paint into the white color, the normals on this curve will be flipped. And lastly, to reiterate, remember that uh, if you'd like to create multiple surfaces, just go into the data for grease pencil, create a new layer and start drawing in it. And that's it. And one last tip when using grease pencil, uh, how it works, I'm no expert in grease pencil, but uh, how it works, it needs frames for it to be visible in the uh, viewport. And you will see that when we are outside of this frame uh, for grease pencil, the mesh uh, disappears. And then there is this uh, hidden shortcut, Alt Scroll. And if you also have it, that's most probably how you can make mesh disappear by accident. And finally, when you're happy with the result, all you have to do is to apply the modifier so either by pressing Ctrl A or choosing from the drop down menu apply. And now it is a regular mesh so you can edit it either in edit mode or in the sculpt mode. All right, and that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. I gotta say I am very excited how this tool turned out. I'm very happy for it. So go ahead, use it. It will be available for free. And also there will be an option to leave a tip, which will be much appreciated. And also I know some of you are waiting for Retopo Planes updates. Uh, those will be coming soon. Uh, yeah, but for now, that's it. Thank you for watching and bye bye.